we knew that Wes wanted to do a one for the Marauder attack, um, which is where the Marauders go into the Eagle Clan and uh, decimate that village. Uh, the main character, who's played by Owen, um, he, we tracked him through a, a, literally a, a single shot, which went over a minute. We started in understanding the parameters of the size of the location. Uh, we mapped that out in a rehearsal in our rehearsal space. We have a stage that we have been we've set up as a rehearsal space for this show, and then we just literally developed his move through the whole shot. Uh, but it wasn't that simple. So we worked with the previous um, to have a look at where we needed to place Owen within the configuration of the set knowing that all around him was um, pretty vicious action with the marauders attacking the eagle clan. But we knew that from a methodology point of view, we could only capture a certain number of performers on the night. So we worked with uh, Owen as uh, doing the whole shot himself. Uh, we rehearsed it in our, uh, in our space and then we rehearsed it a num number of times with the film crew uh, on location. And then knowing that uh, in volume we'd be, we'd be supplementing all the action, all the background action with um, stunt performers in volume and, and building those vignettes in a different, at a different time. Well, if you ever watch Wes, he's, he's a very um, animated director. Wes could be a stunt performer, I think, or a performer. Even in meetings, he'll get up and act through the action that he's interested in. So quite often, I can just uh, pull my phone out and, and film him in his briefings, and really, that's what we know we're going to do. Um, uh, he's, uh, Wes is very thoughtful. Um, he's, he's very considerate of his cast and people in general. One of the things I, I, I totally enjoy about Wes is his character, uh, very calm, I have a core of 20 uh, in my team. We have five uh, ND apes who track the whole show. So they play anything from an orangutan to a chimp to a um, gorilla. And then they can play other characters. So we can have, we, ha we have a range of probably three to five inches of height difference with the cast. So if a cast is six foot six, like Kevin is, uh, who plays Proximus, I can, have a double for him who's a five inch range below that. Um, we're trying to keep this a similar physicality but uh, from a doubling point of view that gives me enormous scope to have different performers play different cast. So uh, Owen for instance might have two or three doubles depending on his action and depending on where people are at any time of the show. And then if we need to complement our core uh, then I get additionals who have been trained in the in movement with Elaine. There was many times that Freya was being chased by a horse, and in one uh, one of our sequences, a net was thrown. Two horses threw a net over a group of ferals, which May was uh, captured within the net, and she was able to escape while the other humans were dragged away. Uh, but on that, I've got to say, Freya is probably one of the most beautiful runners you'd ever see. Like her physicality for running is just fantastic. Uh, there's no doubt about it. And she was, from our first conversation when we first met, it was very clear that she wanted to do as much of her action as possible. And I hear that all the time. Uh, but she genuinely is an athlete and is super keen to be involved and she's very capable.